and and have a discussion about exactly what is going on here. So we move from that from from the timeline over to why it makes sense for these smaller schools to actually not play this season, right? So Old Dominion, UConn, the MAC, etc. All of that makes perfect sense because they do not have the funds available to do the testing needed, not just testing, but to care for the students if they end up sick or if something happens, right? This is very basic understanding, right? If you don't have the money to do something, then you cannot provide it. Like, I, I want to address the small schools real quick, and then I'll let you – I'll just jump right back in. Oh, you're, you're good. Go ahead. The, the only difference – so people would – the argument that I've, I've had this conversation with people, and they're like, well, if, if it – you know – there's nothing for me there for the Florida kid and for the LSU kid and for the Bama kids. What do you think these kids from small schools are going back home to? Listen, I can't fix everybody. They don't have the money to play and to play safely, to have any health benefits whatsoever. And, 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 and so that is a different situation. All right. I can't help them, but because I can't help everybody, doesn't mean we shouldn't help the ones we can. Exactly. Okay. So exactly. these people have the money to play. They have the facilities to play. They have the, the, the equipment and the training staff to do it and to do it right. So that, that argument has to be squashed. Just yes. because you can't help everybody doesn't mean you shouldn't help some people. Yes. Uh, let's see. Brown Yeti said, Chris is fired up today. Uh, Michael said, Yeti, I think everyone is. This is BS. Yeah, agreed. Um, so it, it also goes to point out exactly the difference between the haves and the have-nots. And for the NCAA to keep – these schools in Division One, and acting like they all have the same opportunity, the same chance that the big, t- like the Big Ten, Power Five, whatever has, is completely ludicrous. And this goes on to show the cracks in that foundation. These two entities should be separated. Like this is a Division One, Division Two kind of thing. So FCS and FBS are two different things. But if you look at the divide between the ones that are actually in FBS, between the MAC, Conference USA, the Sun Belt, Mountain West, and the AAC, the difference between what they can provide to their student-athletes and what the Power Five can provide to their student-athletes, there is a colossal chasm. If you have ever seen the Grand Canyon, it is significantly larger than that. It is just bigger. So if the group of five schools cannot do this correctly, they cannot provide the correct safety measurements for or safety measures for their student-athletes, then no, they should not be playing. This should not just be Old Dominion and UConn and the MAC that have come out right now and done this. This should have been everybody. So, and If the Sun Belt can't protect their players, then they don't need to play. At, any, at the end of the day, you have to be able to test and you have to be able to clean these facilities over and over and over again. Yes. Bottom line. like I, They don't make enough from television contracts. And when something like this happens, where all of these Power Five conferences decide to go power or uh, uh, conference only, when that happens, yep. then you don't have the fundage. You don't have the buy games that provide you half of your athletic department budget. It just doesn't work, especially after March Madness got canceled. Like, that's a lot of money that comes into some of these schools as well. So when you are already losing funds from that side of it, and then you lose your buy games, you lose a massive chunk of your athletic department fundage. You are in trouble, and you cannot provide the adequate care for these student-athletes. So, that is why it... 